All right, guys, today's video comes thanks to some potentially exciting information if said information turns out to be true. So if you haven't heard already, there's another Destiny related leak. Now, as the Destiny community, we're no stranger to leaked information. There's a pretty extensive history of leaks relating to Destiny that come up fairly often. Whether that be leaks about the game's troubled development or leaks relating to new content, throughout the years, some have been true and some have been false, and some of which remain unconfirmed to this day. Today we're going to take a look at a leak that pertains to the fall expansion set to release later this year. Some of the information sounds believable and some of it I'm still a bit skeptical about, but without further ado, let's get into the information. Now this leak comes from an unknown person who made a post on a site called 4chan, which is the first red flag when questioning the validity of this leak, but let's try to see past that and discuss what's been shared. The leaker says, the reason why Bungie has a skeleton crew working on D2 right now is due to them working on both their Matter IP and the big upcoming D2 fall expansion, Destiny 2 Collapse. So the first thing he mentioned about how D2 has a skeleton crew has been my belief for quite some time. I always assumed it was because Bungie has been working on Destiny 3, but the leak suggests that instead it's because Bungie is focused on their new IP known as Matter, as well as a fall expansion for Destiny 2, now called The Collapse. Bungie has commented only briefly on their projects besides Destiny, sharing a few noteworthy pieces of information. Mark Noseworthy said this last year at E3 2019. He said, we're about 600 people now. We're primarily working on Destiny. It's almost the entire studio. We've got a few people in the backyard planting some seeds that might grow into some future things. So according to Bungie, they have a majority of the studio working on Destiny. And of course, I would assume that also includes Destiny 3. I'd also imagine that this Matter IP is still in very early stages of development, but according to this leak, maybe Bungie has actually been working hard on a large fall expansion instead of Destiny 3. The leak goes on to say, The expansion has been in the works for some time now, around two years, and was originally planned as part of Destiny 3 before being retooled midway through development. Now this is also some very interesting information because this means that they would be using content originally planned for Destiny 3, meaning Destiny 3 could be one of two things. No longer in development, or more likely, Destiny 3 will be likely pushed back even further because they've now stripped content planned for it to be released in Destiny 2 instead. The timeline does line up though with the two years of development. Previously, 8 on the 9 leaked that Destiny 3 had been in development since before Forsaken's launch. With Forsaken being released a little over a year ago, it's not hard to believe Destiny 3 content had been in the works at that point as well. So if we do actually see this content pushed ahead for D2, then I wouldn't be surprised. Destiny 2 Collapse is the big one, and story-wise focuses on the first arrival of the Pyramids. It's a very big, Forsaken-esque expansion that's nearly a game itself. This is one of the more believable parts of this leak. In game right now and in the lore, we have seen the pyramids briefly in Shadowkeep and in the most recent season, we have been seeing that the pyramids have been getting closer and closer to our solar system. And if they were to reach us, there would likely be another collapse, lining up with the name of this potential expansion. Also, Bungie has said the game is almost near its limits technically when it comes to the game's file size, so people have talked about Bungie removing content or planets to make room for new ones. Bungie might tie in this technical limit to the story by saying this new collapse would cause the destruction of a few planets and then remove them from the game. That would be crazy if they did something like that, but we'll have to see if that's what they do. Darkness will finally be the main villain, front and center of the expansion. Very interesting character from what I've seen and takes the form of a very ghostly, veiled woman. Same look as the statue in the pyramid. It has a nickname of sorts throughout the collapse, the Winnower. So according to the leak, the veiled woman he's describing called the Winnower looks like this statue inside the pyramid. The darkness as a main villain with the Winnower at the helm is a very, very interesting concept and I'm hoping it actually turns out to be true. The expansion focuses around two destinations, Europa and the Finality, a massive city inside the Winnower's core pyramid. Originally depicted in D2 vanilla concept art, but we'll finally be going there to put an end to the Winnower. Europa has been hinted at and seen in concept art since 2013 for Destiny, and as we talked about in some previous videos on the channel, was originally planned for Taken King, then Destiny 2, then we thought Destiny 3, but it looks like we might actually see Europa a lot sooner than we initially expected. This Destiny 2 concept art image he's referencing appears to be the Finality, a massive city inside the Winnower's core pyramid. 
This image was very exciting at the time before Destiny 2's release, so if we were to actually see it realized in-game in this context, would be pretty awesome. The leaker then says, Huge focus on darkness abilities, new darkness subclasses for each class respectively. Darkness subclasses have been one of the most highly requested introductions in the game's history. For years, players have been speculating and hoping that we would see them at one point, and if we saw them release inside Destiny 2 this fall, it would definitely garner a lot of excitement. Kallus, Marasov, and Eris Morn are all significant presences throughout Collapse's storyline. This would all make sense considering Eris Morn has always been the one closest to the darkness throughout the story and the history of the franchise, and both Marasov and Kallus continue to have large story implications throughout the game's lore. All of the Destiny storylines, while seemingly scattered, do tend to have a lot of overlap and connections to one overarching storyline, the darkness. So this would also make a lot of sense. Another big takeaway are the Veil, essentially a long rumored race that has been in development for a while. Got leaked by Shadow of Anon the Nine a while back, and mostly from concept work. The Veil are the first new, truly alien enemies to the series, not counting the Scorn and Taken, have a very H.R. Geiger ghostly aesthetic to them. Pick Related is an extremely old D1 concept that heavily inspired their aesthetic. So it appears the Veil is going to be the name of the Darkness race, and the D1 concept art he references is pretty in line with the description of them. This image was shared by Bungie ages ago and shows that there were five races at one point. From left to right we see Vex, Fallen, Cabal, Hive, and race number five who we now speculate are the Veil. You can see early concepts of the pyramid ships and they look pretty ghostly. H.R. Geiger designed the alien inside the movie Alien and some of his art shows us what the leaker says inspired the look of the Veil in Destiny. Honestly, this would be incredible, these guys look awesome. The Veil have the most new units out of any race thus far, a standout being a large earthly golem creature. It'll be revealed two months out from now in June and the storyline is intended to segue right into Destiny 3. Alright, so June is usually when E3 is going on, but as we know that's been cancelled this year and they're looking to do an online version of the event, so it would make sense for an announcement sometime in June. As for this being a segue into Destiny 3 story, that also makes sense if we're to believe that this content was originally planned for Destiny 3, but was pushed ahead for Destiny 2. And when we actually do see a Destiny 3, building off of this storyline would make sense and would be great to see. Like Forsaken, Collapse will have a flagship raid revolving around a descent into the Winnower's Domain deep inside the Finality. Seems as if we'll be destroying the Darkness's physical form in the raid. New strikes are also coming. No surprise there that we'd see a raid for this expansion considering we've got at least one raid every single fall since 2014. And the inclusion of new strikes is also good to see. Destroying the darkness in the raid would be quite the feat if we did pull it off, but honestly, it's kind of fun to speculate that maybe we actually lose our fight against the darkness, and instead we face another collapse. That'd be very fitting based on the supposed name of the expansion, and it would lead into a great beginning for Destiny 3. But none of this information is confirmed, however, I will say that I am hoping this turns out to be true because this sounds so damn good as an expansion. This leak, if it is fake, is a very good fake, and the only thing that hurts its credibility is that it was released by someone anonymous on 4chan. Let me know what you guys think though, does this sound legit to you guys? I don't know if it is, but I hope it is because Destiny 2 is in a terrible place right now, and I would love to see something great come to Destiny. But thank you so much for watching, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more Destiny content, and I will see you guys next time.